What is going on everybody? It is me again. It is HorrorFan34 and welcome to another video and welcome to day 14 of the 31 Days of Horror Challenge in October. Now that we are on day 14 of the challenge, I figured this would be another one to talk about even though this is not really technically considered like a spooky sort of like, you know, Halloween movie to watch during October. But it is still in the horror genre and this is kind of like more of a film during the summer. Because I know this came out during the summer, I think, of uh, 2010 when this came out. But I haven't talked about this film yet. Um, and I figured this would be a, a good one to talk about. I don't remember if I ever talked about the original before or not. But if you can tell by the title of the video already, that review is going to be on Piranha. Of course, this is the remake from 2010, directed by Alexander Aja. Now, first off, going on to the director, Alexander Aja, I think he's a very capable uh, horror director. He did the Hills of Eyes remake, which is my personal favorite of his. He also directed Crawl from 2019. That's a, that's a great one. High Tension, which is good. Uh, Mirrors with Keeper Southern, which I think is underrated. I don't think that that film is as bad as people say it is. I think that's kind of an underrated movie. Uh, and Alexander Aja has done a lot of other stuff as well um produced a lot of films and i think this is another good one that he did and of course this is a remake from i think the 1978 piranha which is directed by joe dante i think that's from 78 or 79 i cannot remember for sure but i know that the original was by joe dante but this one and the, and the basic idea with the film is that uh takes place uh it takes place during like spring break and basically you know there's like this there's an underwater tremor that like shakes the 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 floor of this lake lake victoria and it causes all these these deadly piranha to get released and they get they end up getting into like this uh area where spring break is happening at, and then the piranhas are killing the the teenagers and things like that now that's pretty much the idea of the film, and that some of the cast members in here, you would do, you, you have uh, Elizabeth Shue as the sheriff, you have Jerry O'Connell, you have Bing Rames, you have Stephen R. McQueen, who is the son of the of Steve McQueen from the original Blob from the fifties. You have Christopher Lloyd in a small role, Richard, and Richard Dreyfuss at the very beginning of the film. Um, yeah, and of course, like if you don't if you don't know how the film opens, uh. Richard Dreyfus as a guy named Hooper, which of course is a well, his name is Matt. But of course, that's a take of Matt Hooper from Jaws. He's in his uh, little boat on the lake, and he falls into the water when the tremor shakes the the lake, and that's when the piranha get out. And Richard Dreyfus' character gets eaten alive by the piranha. Very bloody stuff, and the the the, the gore effects are very well done um, by. It doesn't say uh, the uh, Howard Berger and Greg Nicotero who did the gore effects and everything. I think they they did a great job on the gore. And although I, one thing with the film, I will admit, I kind of wish the cast was people like Elizabeth Shue, Jerry O'Connell, because they're not the main stars. It's more about these teenagers and Steve McQueen. I think it would be kind of cooler if like the cast, like the main cast, was like Christopher Lloyd. Or, you know, even Richard Dreyfuss or, and, and Elizabeth Shue, Jerry O'Connell, Ving Rhames. I kind of like, if they were the main cast, like, that'd be kind of cool. But instead of, I mean, the teenagers are, are okay, but I think it would have been better if it was, like, those cast of characters. Like, Jerry O'Connell, things of that nature. But the best thing about the film is, without a doubt, the gore. And the, the effects on the piranha are pretty decent. I mean, they are CGI, but I think they're pretty decently well done for CGI. But, like, the, the gore effects is, like, the main thing that sticks out most about the film. Especially the Spring Break, the spring break Massacre, when all the kids are falling into the water and they're getting just ripped apart by the piranha. And, and I think Alexander Aja did a good job directing the film. And like like I said, like that's really the main thing that sticks out to me the, the most. Like the scene wise is the Spring Breaks massacre, and the gore effects is without a doubt the best thing about the film. And and overall, you know, it, it I think it's kind of like one of one of the more underrated remakes. 
Because I feel like it's a remake that was popular when it came out in 2010, but I feel like as the years have gone by, not many people bring up the film that much. But if, I mean, and I, I do like the original Piranha. I wouldn't say, I, I don't know which one I would like, I like more. Um, this one definitely has the gore, I will admit. Definitely has a lot of gore. Very well done effects. And it was just really cool to see, like, people in here like Elizabeth Shue, Richard Dreyfuss, you know, Christopher Lloyd, Ving Rhames. Uh, Ving Rhames has a fun moment where he's, like, he's killing a bunch of piranha and he, of course, he gets killed. And he returns in the sequel, which makes no sense because of how he dies in this film. So I don't know how he returns in the sequel, but I guess by magic. But, uh, but overall, this is a really fun remake. Uh... If you like gore effects and if you and you if you like the original, I recommend that you give the remake a look. So that's pretty much it for my review for Piranha. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time.